All right, with this forecast video update on this Tuesday, April the, April the 13th, this is the evening edition. I am Josh Brown. I hope that you guys had a wonderful day. And I have to say it's been really just a hot day, I, I guess you can say, across central Florida. Uh, most of us saw some 80s, and some, some of you have seen some 90s today, but I expect more of the same as we head into the next couple of days. That's tomorrow and Thursday before our thunderstorm chances come back, comes back as we head towards the day, the, the day on Friday through at least early next week, which I'll explain more about that here in just a little bit. But uh, first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at those high temperatures we saw today in central Florida. And as you can see here in Orlando, at about 4 o'clock, we, uh, we actually hit a high temperature at about 90. Same thing for you guys uh, farther back down to Lakeland. Over towards the villages, the high temperature only reached in, into about uh, 91 degrees also for the high temperature today. And it looks like Ocala got close to 90 earlier today, too. Farther south you go into Kissimmee, temperatures only uh, hit mid-80s. And the same thing for you all in Sanford. And it was a little cooler for you folks over in the uh, Daytona and the Palm Coast areas where temperatures only saw mid to upper 70s. But if you go farther south down towards Titusville, temperatures only uh, hit lower 80s. So it wasn't too bad out, out there today, but it's mostly our inland areas that saw temperatures uh, just just on the hotter side. So, yes, it, it felt like summer. And again, I expect that to continue as we head towards the next uh, couple of, <clears throat> excuse me, a uh, couple of days. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at our current temperatures right now, and as you can see, it's still a little bit warmer out there, especially in our, again, inland areas of central Florida. So like right here in the Orlando Metro, we are currently sitting at about 80, 80 degrees at the moment. We got 83 right now in Kissimmee. 85 is the current temperature in Lakeland, and also, and also we got some lower 80s for you folks in Ocala, in the villages, and perhaps some 70s from Sanford back over towards the east. So not too bad out there this evening for those of you that have some uh, outdoor plans. So if you do have some outdoor plans, then you are mostly good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at Futurecast to show you how warm it's going to get for the next couple of days. Sorry about that, folks. And once again, y'all, if you're just uh, coming into your Facebook Live on this Tuesday evening, I would not mind if you could uh, go ahead and share this live feed to your Facebook followers as normally, because you, because you know my motto, sharing is caring. And before we also get started, as usual, I'm going to go ahead and share this feed to one of my other live pages. So as always, like I've been saying every night, just hang on just a minute and we will move on. All right, here we go. All right, so as we take a look at our temperatures for the rest of tonight, once Future Cast get, uh, gets uh, blown up in just a minute. Not sure why it's taking a, a minute or two, but sometimes they can on some products on Barron, so always bear with me. But here we go. So as we head towards the rest of tonight and even into the first half of the day tomorrow, looking at another, another slightly cooler start to the day, but still it will be mostly milder here in central Florida. So as you wake up in the morning, it looks like we'll see temperatures start off in the low to mid-60s. And just note there could be some patchy, dense fog in some places, but it's not going to be everywhere. So just keep that in mind. And as we head into the uh, rest of the day on Wednesday, we will see again our temperatures heat things up into the upper 80s and some Maybe hitting 90 degrees or maybe around 91 are possible, especially in our inland communities. So like right here in Orlando, we may, be, we may hit a high temperature tomorrow at about 87, 84 for the high temp Wednesday in Sanford. Could see a high of 86 in Kissimmee, 87 for both the villages in Lakeland, 
and about 86 tomorrow for you, for you guys over in Ocala, and perhaps upper 70s and low 80s right along I-95. So it could, be, it, could, it could be another good day to head over to the beach or perhaps spend a day at the water parks, because we'll see another warm day here in the Sunshine State. And then if you got any plants in the evening, especially after sunset, we'll see temperatures uh, cool off a little bit, but still looking to be, on, to be on the warmer side, with mostly in the way of mid to upper 70s. So uh, if you got any plans for the e plans for the evening tomorrow, then you're good to go. And as we approach late Wednesday night, which is tomorrow, once again into early Thursday morning, could be another could be another warm start to today in Central Florida Thursday with with morning glow temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. And then as we approach Thursday afternoon, it looks like we'll see again another another day of warmer temperatures with highs only in the mid to upper 80s, especially here in Orlando, Titusville. Even Sanford could see high temperatures in the 80s also on your Thursday. Could see a high temperature about 85 in Kissimmee, and 78 could be the high, <clears throat> excuse me, also for Thursday in Ocala, 80 for the villages, and 81 for you all in Lakeland. And as we approach uh, the evening hours, still looking warm with, with uh, temperatures in the upper 60s, like around Palm Coast and others in the low to mid 70s. There could be a few showers possible, in some places on Thursday, but I think the good chance will hold off until at least by Friday. So uh, there you all have it there. So once again, before I get right to the GFS, let's get one more check with the radar and see what's going on currently in Central Florida. And as you can see, we are looking pretty quiet here in the viewing area, especially right here in Orlando. So uh, again, if you've got, got some uh, outdoor plans for the next couple of days, Again, weather will be dry, so uh, you're <clears throat> so you'll be fine. <clears throat> All right, so let's get into the day on your Friday, and 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 I believe that's today. We'll see our next chance for showers and storms to make our way back into uh, Central Florida. So for now, as we approach the 16th, we'll, we may call for about a 40 to 50 percent coverage of some scattered af afternoon showers and storms. And this is a good thing, because th I think we need some more rain here in Central Florida, so uh, that'll be good. And also just make sure you know that uh, you have a poncho before you head out the door Friday morning. And if you got any plans in the afternoon, again, just uh, uh, keep the umbrella handy. But it's not going to rain all day, so just uh, keep that in mind. And as you can see, our temperatures will start to cool off a bit once the rain approaches with low to mid 80s. Uh, in and around central Florida, but if you go farther south into south Florida, as you can see, Marco Island to uh, Fort Lauderdale, Miami could see temperatures much hotter with with highs only in the upper 80s and perhaps even to low 90s. So it could be really a very hot day for south Florida as we approach the day on Friday. <clears throat> Excuse me again. But if you go farther up north, it looks like uh, temperatures will be looking cooler uh, with mostly in the 50s, 60s, and maybe even near 70 across parts of the southeast, but at least it'll be north of Florida. So what about Saturday? So as we head into the weekend, it looks like we'll see the rain chances uh, lower just a little bit. But we'll, so, so we're going to call for about a 30% coverage of a few showers possible as we head towards Saturday. But I think most of the day should be fine. So if you've got any outdoor plants on your Saturday, it should be good to go, but again, just watch out for a few showers. Right now, the heavy or the best chance, I should say, looks to, looks to stay north around the Mississippi Valley region, and that could be head of another cold front. We're going to be have, we're going to have to watch closely too as we look at our high temperatures for Saturday. And for us, the heat does cramp back up into Central Florida. We're talking about another day of some upper 80s and low 90s. So just be careful out there while you're out in the heat. If you got plans on Saturday. And of course, always always wear sunscreen too uh, if you're going to be outdoors all day that day. But the cooler temperatures are going to stay mostly north with highs in the 50s and 60s in and around the Mississippi Valley. All right, so heading into the day on Sunday. So here's Sunday, 
And for right now, according to, according to the GFS, it looks like we'll see some showers possible, but it's not going to rain all day. So for the moment, according to the this model trend, the, uh, the, uh, the good chance to see is some showers and, and even a few storms will stay north of Orlando. So anywhere from Flackler to uh, Volusia and Marion counties, you guys can see about a 50% coverage of some scattered showers, maybe a storm or two as we head into the day on Sunday. And if you folks live in parts of Volusia into Seminole, uh, let's say Lake and Sumter counties, you can see about a 30% coverage of some isolated showers. But for now, uh, anywhere from Orange County South looks to stay pretty dry throughout the day. Uh, so, uh, so again, we'll still have to watch the uh, trends here as we get close to the upcoming weekend. But I think we'll still see some rain uh, in places. And, and our high temperatures below that looks to stay uh, pretty much once again warm and uh, humid with upper 80s to low 90s. But notice far the north you go, uh, that is the uh, next cold front that's going to be dropping uh, from the north to south. But, but uh, behind it, that's going to allow more temperatures to cool uh, into the 60s and 70s across the Mississippi Valley. So heading into early next week, that is uh, Monday, April 19th, and it looks like we'll see the rain chances increase up to about a 60%. So, so, so we're going to maintain about a 60% 60, a 60 coverage of some widespread showers and perhaps even a few thunderstorms in the uh, viewing area. So again, that is something we will have to uh, watch as that uh, same system, along with the cold front, pushes uh, from north to south into where we live. And our high temperatures will start to uh, cool things down into the 60s, especially in Marion and Flagler counties and others in the, in the mid to upper 70s and low 80s. But if you go farther up north, temperatures may feel pretty refreshing as we approach early next week with highs in the, in the 60s and low 70s in the Mississippi Valley. But since we're going to see some storms on Monday with the second uh, uh, system, I guess you can call it, if we look at the instability values. And for right now, it looks like we could see maybe a few strong to severe storms in parts of central Florida. But, uh, you know, we're still several days out. So something to watch here in the coming days. So as always, just keep on checking back with me here on Facebook Live, uh, at least for the rest of this week, for any upcoming changes as far as our rain chances go. By the time we get into uh, this weekend, at least the second half of this weekend, into the first half of next week. And the rain doesn't just stop. Uh, so it's not just for Monday, but it, could, but it could continue as we head into a one week from today. And that is next Tuesday, April 20th. And the rain could be heavy at times in some places. As you notice in the red shaded colors, uh, basically, once you go back from Daytona Beach all the way towards Tampa, at least near the Tampa area, uh, that could uh, bring totals up to about two to four inches in the red zone. So that could produce maybe some potential flooding uh, concerns with that, uh, you know, big line of showers and storms as we get close to early next week. So, again, that's something we'll have to keep uh, our eyes out. And as far as our high temperatures go down below, and as you can see, that... Uh, I believe the same front will continue to uh, drive down along with the uh, heavier rain into central Florida, and that's going to still bring temperatures cooler in the 70s to near 80. But far the north you go, it seems like temperatures will also stay cool in the 60s and low 70s in the Mississippi Valley. But again, in terms of severe weather with that uh, same system on Tuesday, if we take a look at the instability, and it shows right now Anywhere over to the northern sections of our viewing area, so anywhere from Ocala to Palm Coast, Daytona Beach, it looks like there could be maybe some uh, favorable conditions to produce a few strong to severe storms. But again, it's just too early to tell uh, since we're still one week, off, one week off, so that's why things could really change once we get closer. But the severe threat for the rest of central Florida looks to be on the lower side, so I think the threat for that we're going to see with these storms will just be just heavier rain. And as we get into the middle of next week, that is uh, Wednesday, April 21st, and the rain, again, still doesn't stop. Still talking about another chance for showers and storms to, con storms to continue right here in our viewing area. So we're talking about another uh, batch of heavy rain in some localized places. So that's something we'll still have to keep a close eye, eye on in the coming uh, several days, I guess you can say. 
and it looks like temperatures may start to uh, warm back up at least briefly, uh, but mostly in the average uh, type, uh, type uh, I guess you can call it, with highs in the upper 70s and low 80s, so not too bad. But if you go farther up north, it seems like temperatures will stay, again, much cooler with 60s and low 70s. And since that the uh, storms could continue again by the, mid the middle of next week, if we take a look at the instability values, and it shows that the severe threat looks to be lower at this point. So anywhere in those blue shaded colors, including back from Volusia County and Point South, there could be maybe a few strong storms, but the severe threat looks to be way low as far as what I'm seeing here. So it looks like the good chances to see some severe storms will be staying down towards South Florida as we head towards the middle of next week. So again, I'll keep you all posted for any new changes once we get closer to the first half of next week, since we got more rounds of rain uh, coming. But if you need some dry weather, well, it looks like the rain chances will start to really, uh, really diminish here by uh, next Thursday, which is April 22nd. So that's going to leave a chance for showers down in South Florida. But for us, we should be in the clear. So we'll see some sunshine to make a comeback to Central Florida. And as far as our high temperatures go for next Thursday, it shows that it should be, it should be looking perfect with highs in the upper 70s and low 80s. So, uh, so not too bad to get outside and enjoy the... Uh, uh, beautiful weather after dealing with, with uh, periods of rain and storms here early next week. So if you got some plants, have some plants that day, well, uh, there could be a chance that uh, you could, in, you know, just get out and enjoy. And if you go farther up north, it looks like uh, temperatures across the Mississippi Valley may stay cooler, but still mostly in the spring type pattern with highs in the mid-60s. All right, uh, getting into next Friday, which is April 23rd, and again, it looks like uh, most of us should be looking pretty quiet. Could be maybe a brief coastal shower or two along the coast of Brevard County, but other than that, no big deal. And uh, our high temperatures uh, down below uh, looks to stay refreshing with more in the way of upper 70s and even some spots in our inland communities in the lower 80s. But it's not just for here in Florida, but that could also have rain some cooler spring-like or want to say cool or I meant to say just mostly average spring-like temperatures uh, with uh, highs in the 70s and close to 80. So not just here in Florida, but in the Mississippi Valley. So looking perfect if the, GF, if the GFS is correct as we head towards the end of next week. All right, as we enter the land of voodoo country, this is taking you to Saturday, April 24th, and it looks like a slight shower a, a slight shower chances could come back to central Florida. And for right now, it looks like it appears to be from I-4 and east, so we're going to call for about a 20% coverage of some isolated spotty showers throughout the day on the 24th. But other than that, I think the rest of central Florida looks to stay pretty quiet. But if you go farther to the north and west, there may be another system that could produce a good chance for some rain and storms in the Mississippi Valley region. So that is something we will have to, yet again, watch closely, but this is just early, it's just too early to tell at the, at the moment. But for our high temperatures, it looks like we'll be mostly in the upper 70s and even some lower 80s uh, here in the state. And even temperatures could be, could be also a bit warmer across the uh, eastern side of Alabama to Georgia and South Carolina as we also head over towards the 24th. But as you can see, there could be high temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s, but with the new system that could produce some more storms in Mississippi and the western part of Alabama, that could allow temperatures to cool down into the 60s and even low 70s. So that could be ahead of another cold front also that we may have to watch. But remember, this is too early to tell because we're in the land of food or country. So that's why things could really change as we get closer. All right, uh, heading into the 25th of April, I believe that's the final Sunday for this month, and it looks like uh, we'll see the rain chances stay lower, but increasing just slightly, about up to about a 30% we'll call as we approach that day. But still, that same strong system off towards the west will continue to bring more good chances for showers and storms around the Mississippi Valley region. And our high temperatures below that, for us, looks to stay pretty warm in the mid-80s, uh, especially here, for at least for us, on where we live. 
and it looks like uh, temperatures farther north to go could stay uh, much more like spring with highs in the mid to upper 70s and even some lower 80s. All right, so heading into the final week of April, this is Monday, April 26th, and I believe that's a system that could produce some storms across the Mississippi Valley will start to weaken and diminish. So thankfully, uh, if this is correct, it looks like we may not see any big chances, big chances of storms here on the day of the 26th. So, so, so it looks like we're going to call for mostly, a uh, mostly sunny and quiet day if that GFS trend is correct. So we'll see. And our high temperatures looks to stay pretty mostly warmer with, mo with more in the way of low to mid 80s here in our viewing area. But if you go farther up north, temperatures will stay more in the way of spring with in the way of 70s. So looking pretty good here as we head towards the final week of this month. But again, this is Land of Voodoo, so it could change. All right, heading into two weeks from today, this is Tuesday, April 27th, and it looks like the shower chances could come back in some of our coastal communities along I-95, but uh, as you can see, the rain chances looks to stay low at 20%, but the rest of us here in the viewing area looks to stay quiet with lots of sunshine and throughout the rest of the southeast, and uh, our high temperatures, once again, looks to stay, um, well, not really as warm like we could see uh by late next week into the following, the early following part of the work week. So instead, we'll see temperatures below 80, 80 degrees on the 27th with mostly in the 70s and others across the Mississippi Valley with, uh, with uh, upper 70s and low 80s. So not bad as far as the weather goes for, again, late, late April. Okay, so heading, in, heading, in, heading into uh, two weeks from tomorrow, that is Wednesday, April 28th, and as you can see on the GFS, there could be some isol isolated coastal showers possible right along I-95, but other than that, no big deal. The rest of us here in central Florida looks to stay mostly dry and mostly sunny, especially in our inland areas, in our market, and our high temperatures, again, looks to stay more like spring with upper 70s and some low 80s, so looking good. As we approach the middle of the following week, and others across the Mississippi Valley region will also be looking uh, average with highs in the mid-70s. All and last but not least is Thursday, April 29th. And as you can see, again, there could be another batch of some isolated coastal showers making their way back into I-95. But the other areas across central Florida look to stay pretty mostly sunny. And yet again... There's, there could be another storm system that could produce another good shot of some rain and thunderstorms across the Mississippi Valley. So we'll wait and see what happens then. And our high temperature is finally down below. For us, looks to stay pretty slightly cool in the upper 70s and low 80s. And it looks like with that system, that could produce a good chance of rain across the Mississippi Valley region. It could bring uh, temperatures, uh, you know, down cooler. So that's ahead of a cold front, I, I, I'm, I'm assume with the uh, upper 60s and low 70s. So uh, there you go, guys. All right, gang, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up this uh, Facebook live feed. So hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Tuesday night. And as usual, I'll be back here tomorrow night, the same time between 8 and 8.30. And I'll continue, as always, by posting my notes or updates on my, on my blog and Facebook pages, and even Instagram, too, 24-7. But in the meantime, please remember to stay safe by taking care of yourselves and each other, and God bless.